Yo, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to export your videos for social media. So this includes like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I basically want to go over a couple different methods um, for exporting your videos for social media. Now, if you use the like the first method, the method that I've talked about before, that method still works. These are a couple different methods you can use um, when exporting your video to social media. Just keep in mind that when you're exporting to social media, you want to use a codec of H.264, and that's pretty much it. As long as you're using an H.264 codec, you're going to be perfectly fine um, for uploading videos to social media. The first thing I want to go over is how to basically format your YouTube video for Instagram or TikTok. Now what you want to do is you want to click on your project right here. This is just a normal, um, just a normal like YouTube video right here. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and right click on it right here. I'm going to go to duplicate project as, so duplicate project as, and as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and rename this IG. Now over here in the format, you can choose which one you want. You can choose vertical, obviously for vertical videos, so for like um, TikTok and Instagram stories, and then square for Instagram posts. So I'm just going to click on square for Instagram posts. I'm going to go ahead and click on smart conform. Basically what that does is that gets rid of the black outlines. I'll change the resolution to 1080 by 1080. I'm just going to leave the frame rate um, at 23.98. Nine times out of 10, you're going to use a 23.98 frame um, frames per second. Make sure you're on smart conform. And Final Cut will do, this, do its best to reposition um, the video. And then once you're done, all you want to do is click OK right here. As you can see right here, it's just analyzing the timeline clips right here. And there you go. That's what the video looks like right here. So if I go ahead and play it, as you can see, there we go. Now it's formatted in the um, 1080 by 1080 square format for Instagram right there. As you can see, um, Final Cut did a pretty good job of making sure every single person um, is centered right there. However, as you can see right here, Matt Ryan right here, as you can see, he starts to go off center. So what you can do right here is you can go ahead and go to this clip right here. You can go ahead and head out to 50% right here. And then you can enable the transparency grid right here. And then you could just adjust it right here. Adjust it like this. You could change the scale. You could change the scale down right here until you get everything in the right position um, right here. So probably you'd want to bring the scale down um, right here. And we can move the position over um, just a little bit right here. And now we can just see um, how that works right there. See how close we got right there. As you can see, there we go. That's um, a lot better right there. And then you now you've created your square um, video for Instagram, all with just you know uh, basically duplicating the project as an Instagram um, format. So it's definitely a really cool um, feature that Final Cut now has. Now what you want to do is now once you're done, all you want to do is click on Command E, and that's basically the shortcut for um, exporting right here. So what you want to do is you can obviously, you know, rename the clip, whatever you want, make sure all this stuff is right. So 1080 by 1080, 23.98. This is where you basically check and make sure everything um, is good. Now here are the different methods you can use. You can use this method right here. So format video and audio, video codec H.264. This method 100% works. Um, I'm gonna be like nine times out of 10. This method works. I've always used this method. I've made multiple videos going over how to export videos for social media using this method but the tried and true method and it will almost always work and I've never had any problems with this however Final Cut has offered or has have offered a couple other options um, when exporting your video uh, for social media so if I head over here to format right here I can now go to publishing right here now we could change it to Apple devices. Now Apple devices would probably be used if you're uploading to Instagram or TikTok. So you'd want to use Apple devices and you want to change your video codec to H.264 better quality. You can try faster in code, but from what I've what I, what I know, better quality is the better quality. So I would stick with that. Unless it doesn't work, you could try faster um, in code. So you see, that's pretty much what you want to do if you want to export videos and put it on your phone. So like um, Instagram, TikTok, and so on and so forth. You want to use that format right here, Apple devices. 
makes sense. However, if you want to upload to YouTube, I would encourage you to go ahead and select uh, switch to computer right here. As you can see, now it's a .mp4. YouTube actually recommends um, uploading in a .mp4. I've already made a video on, over, on going over how to change a .mov to a .mp4, but now you can actually just do it in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see, there we go. So you can either change the format to Apple devices, which is for social media, for uh, when you're posting on your phone, or you can change it to computer if you're uploading this project directly to YouTube. The uh, file size is smaller, and YouTube YouTube actually recommends a .mp4 and make sure your video codec is right here on better quality. So computer and then better quality right here. So choose Apple devices or computer and make sure your video codec is on better quality right there. And that's pretty much it. All you want to do is just click, uh, click next to so make sure it's on better quality um, and then you can go ahead and just export the video um, right there. Another thing you can do is head over here is you can actually click on add um, destinations, take the export file and put it right here and what you could do is you could actually head over here to or actually I'll go back to add destination right here I'm gonna head over to export file um, right here I'm gonna head over here I'm gonna change the format to let's just say Apple devices for like um, Instagram or TikTok and then I'm gonna switch over to better quality right here so basically what I did was I actually just created a preset now if I head back over to the export right here now I can click on export file right here and as you can see here are the settings Apple devices and then h.264 better quality all I did right there was just create a preset um, for when you're exporting I'm Instagram and again if you're using uh, YouTube go ahead click on um, computer. So at the end of the day, compute Apple devices or computer, depending on where you're uploading it, and make sure it's an H.264 better quality. And that's pretty much it. So again, all you want to do is click on your project right here, click on duplicate project as right here, you just rename it, go ahead and change the format to either vertical or square right here. So change it to vertical, make sure you're on smart conform to get rid of the black bars, change the resolution to either 4K or 1080 by 1920. And as you can see right here, so just rename it change the format, click on smart conform, make sure all these settings are correct, and then change your resolution, and there you go. And then you can go ahead and just go through the export um, process that I already showed you, and that's how you export your videos for social media. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 230 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.